Hi, I'm Dr. Adam. And I'm Candy. And what are we looking at here, honey? What trip is this? This was my amazing trip to Ethiopia. Ethiopia. And I didn't go with you on this one. No. Just to let you know. Well, you're at the beginning of the trip, but I continued on to Africa. And this is during the pandemic. Just this year. So this is uh, May, I believe. So this is Ethiopia. I, I, so where in Ethiopia are you? For in the South Omo Valley. The Omo Valley, which is pretty famous, right? There's a lot of native tribes that still live in Omo Valley, correct? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different tribes uh, throughout Ethiopia that keep uh, the old ways going. It's pretty amazing. Now, this tribe has some really interesting traditions, and you were fortunate to be able to film them. Uh, what exactly is going on here? This is called the bull jumping c ceremony. It's like a bar mitzvah for a young man. He has to go through this rite of passage in order to become a man. And at the end of the video, it involves him uh, stripping down and he has to run on the backs of incredibles without falling off. And he has to like do three laps without That's falling off to be successful. Oh my goodness, I missed it. But the video is very cool. But there's something else that's new. We haven't hit that point yet. But what else is going on in the videos that people are going to see? There's some weeping, right? Yes. So these women in the video, um, depending on how much they like the young man, will uh, they take lashes on their back from him with a stick. This is part of the bull jumping ceremony. But, but the interesting thing is, I think you told me that the women seem to actually be asking to be whipped, which is kind of confusing. Part of the bull fighting ceremony? The bull jumping ceremony. This young man might become the chief one day, so mm -hmm. if they need something from him uh, in the future, they'll show that they, they took lashes for him on the back. They took, they took lashes for him, so right. he owes them, basically, right? I think so. Yeah, it's hard to know exactly what the what their system is. But and where is the lift? They generally get lashed across the back, like the lower back? Yeah, you back. can see a lot of them already have scars on the oh, back. Oh my goodness. Um, the interesting thing, you, you folks are going to see this as you watch the video, I've, I've seen this uh, already, is they almost seem to be laughing and they're dancing. Yeah, it's like very is, playful, they're laughing and some of them don't even flinch. They don't even flinch and then you'll see the, the scars that they're taking are pretty serious, mm -hmm. which is incredible. They're dancing, so they dance. This goes on for a long time, even like the next day. So it's like several days long. This whole ceremony. They got the bells on their feet, which are really loud. Uh -huh. So some of the relatives are still coming in for the bar mitzvah. Many of them walked many miles. We saw women hiking in, which um, just before all this to get here was quite an ordeal. How'd you get there? We hiked in. Well, I've been driving, uh, Lalo's driving me on a motorcycle mm -hmm. on the back, so we did dirt roads, and it was a long motorcycle ride out there, and we had to get another local guy for this area, because this is like, you know, a private area. Imagine this is like a reservation, you, you know, it's not, uh, it's a private property, so you have to be invited to get in there. The equivalent to a, a reservation in the United States, right, like a Native, Native American. Americans. Um, there's a whole reservation system for those of you who are in other countries. Right. So it's similar to that. Yeah. Okay. So it's not an area where uh, people can just go, foreigners can't just go there. You generally have to contact someone who's... Like, well, right, they had a guy that was Lalo, tribe. but then Lalo is from a different tribe. So mm -hmm. then you have another guy that, that was with us uh, to get permission to come in here. And then also when you walk in, then we talk to this local leader, chief, and um, we have to pay him tribute to be there and to take the photos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he allows you. And then there's a ceremony where you're welcomed in. So 
in a few minutes into the video. Boiling the water for the beer? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So some beer. No. So this is full of the jerk and full of the beer. Okay. Yeah. It's full of the, some of the water and some of the... And they drink for after the ceremony or? No, they drink uh, until now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Drinking it. Okay. Drink. So they and if you've seen Adam's other other's videos, he is not okay. shy about eating <laughs> the interesting local thing. So what you gotta tell me? What did sorghum beer taste like? This is a welcome drink. The boiling yeah, water. Local beer. This is made from sorghum okay. and corn. Okay. So during a bull jumping, when yes. wedding ceremony, yes. the Amr people invite the families, neighbors, you know. Yes. So they will invite this local beer called Farsi in Hammer language. Okay. In Amharic, you can call it a Borde. Uh, okay. Borde. So you can wait a little bit, then you can try wait for it to cook. Okay. Just yeah. Okay. They put boiling water inside. Good. So it's okay to have the boiling water. Yeah. yeah. So as you see here, he's mixing it, so it has to be stirred for a long time, and uh, as it brews, and the, the taste is like a, yeah, it's pretty bitter. But they're drinking this all day too, so the women who are dancing drink this to sustain themselves, and uh, all night they're going to drink this. I think it's only just mildly alcoholic. Thank you. Thank you. To, uh, ferment really quick. Oh, for so there is an alcohol. Could you taste the alcohol? Okay. I'm gonna drink this a bit. Mm, I think so. Yeah, maybe it's like that bitter taste, just kind of slight. Maybe the longer I would have let it stew in the cup, maybe like the more alcoholic it would have become. So you have to interesting. You want? I wonder if like everyone's getting drunk probably at the, by the night time. Oh, he's the jumper. This guy's jumping here. We're just human. Oh, okay. He's going to jump the ball. Yeah. Okay, something I'm, I was extremely right. impressed by, yeah, and the people in Ethiopia, is their energy. These people, these women, are jumping up and down all day. I mean, all day. Right. And maybe all night and the next day. <laughs> I hiked seven miles to get in here, and then, and then seven miles to get out, so they might have hiked even further. And we got lost going in, too, like we went the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Are, are they fascinated by your phone? Were they, were they fascinated? Yeah, they, I think they like to see themselves, you like to show them uh, themselves in the, in the video camera. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so funny. Ethiopia, I, I honestly, I've, I've uh, regretted having missed it. I, I was with Adam in uh, Dubai, which was fabulous. And I took a pass in Ethiopia, but I think I'm going to have to go back one day. It looked just amazing. I've been to many countries in Africa, and I have to say, like, Ethiopia is the most friendly really? of the African countries. Yeah. It's raining. Oh, this was one of my favorite moments running through the rain. It's raining now? Yeah, we're, that was just really a magical moment for me, like uh, running up the hill and the rain it just rained a little bit. Mm -hmm. We were down by the stream where they were dancing. Okay. Then they came back to the hut to take shelter from the rain. Luckily it didn't rain too much. Mm -hmm. It didn't hamper the things too much. So this is back at the top of the hill. Now the guys wear kind of a short skirt, it looks like, in uh, this particular right, tribe. Yeah, that's that's not across Ethiopia, but this particular tribe. Right. It was raining a little bit. There's an object that a man is holding. I think you said that that's a stool. Oh, they have like a micro stool. Yeah. So they walk it's around portable. with a stool. Right, and they can sit down anywhere. Right. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> it keeps you off the ground. So you don't get worms. Oh, that's that's a really good idea. Oh.
Hello. Cute kids. <laughs> very, oh, I need to on very cute and very friendly people. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And I also like, they, they, we're a lot of, That's yeah, one of the stools. That's yeah, the they're stool. all that's holding what I was the micro stool. Okay. <laughs> They offered me one. My butt's so big, like I had it. Uh, Bull jumping I put it lengthwise between my legs. Yeah, uh, this young man is gonna butt doesn't fit. He's gonna hurt of bulls, <laughs> and he's gonna that run on the backs of, of the bulls and not fall so down. So they do break the stool. Which is pretty incredible. No, no, they're really strong. <laughs> How hot was it? We're just waiting. Uh, yeah, I felt the hot from the, the hiking. The group of weepers. But this was uh, winter, I believe, the, so it wasn't too terribly bad. Jump the so were you and Lalo the only Westerners that were there for this ceremony? Yeah, we were the only ones. Uh, so this was gonna. This wasn't so for fortunate. tourists. Like this was gonna happen every, you know, whether we were there or not. Because a lot of times, because we've watched videos of other people um, who are witnessing different tribal events, and sometimes there's loads of tourists around, and they're all filming each other in the event. So how right. fortunate that you were able to go right. and actually just be part of their uh, culture, and they allowed you to film them, instead of sort of taking over and making it into just a film event. Because this is a legitimate, they, they didn't put this on for you, they were celebrating anyway. Right. That's really great. And this particular boy who's going through this rite of passage um, is very popular. I, mean, I wonder if he's going to be chief one day or whatever. A lot of people, hit a lot of cousins, a lot of people showed up for him. He's oh, like a, cool. Lala was saying, you know, this was the biggest turnout <laughs> he's ever seen for a bull jumping ceremony. He's like, uh, the boy's like a, the rock star of the hammer tribe. And how do these people um, survive? Are they um, herders? Do they herd animals? Right. Oh, it's a the, lot of the them. bull, because it's a bull jump. Right. Uh, They're smart. They usually have a lot of things going at the same time. Like, so they always have a backup, you know, in case like the herd dies. So they try to have their hands with like, different occupations as they can. And I love that hairstyle. I've, I've seen that hairstyle in other African nations where it's, it's not cornrow, but it's the braids, and then they've got some sort of. Um, I believe that they soil. have earth in their head. It's probably earth and butter mixed. Butter? Yeah, I believe. Uh, at least with, yeah, I'm sure with that. It was with other tribes, so probably with them too. They mix butter and, and that red earth. And they might even use that. They, they have like perfect complexions, a lot of them. And that's like what they use. Like I beauty that. It's like mud mixed with butter on their cheeks, on their face. Something else I observed in a lot of your Ethiopia video is that they're, they're really creative in the different things that they're using for pieces of jewelry and pieces of clothing. Oh, they're right there. You see that green thing in their hair, right? They, uh, that's the wrapper that comes off of a yeah. bottle. So <laughs> it's really cool. They recycle things. It's, they'll take the wrapper and tie it in their hair as a bow. Any kind of like wrapper or whatever. So instead of going in the trash, they make uh, ribbons out of it, and the hair right. is really neat. Right. And that's, that's very impressive. They're very um, industrious and using all the resources available to them. I had a. Uh, I brought a couple of bottles of water with. Mm -hmm. And at some point, they, when they were dancing, they were asking me for a drink of water. I only had like one. I'd be happy to share it, uh, except I needed. I had to hike seven miles out. I had like less than a bottle. And you so Lala was like, "Oh water. no, yeah, right." And Lala told me the river's right there, so I wanted to run down and get the bottles up for them because you know they, they were working really hard with all that dancing and everything. And they just see you with a bottle of you know, half full of water and like, "Hey, just give me a sip of that." Right. And I, I'm getting really sick of drinking river water. I think they're used to it, but I'm not.
So this is still hours before the actual hold up. Yeah, we are going on time. We didn't know that we have uh, permission from the chief to come home like, hey, lay off the camera already. Oh, really? I was like, oh, sorry. And then the chief was like, no, they're, they're good, they're good. I gave them permission, so. You can see the cuts on their back. Yeah, yeah I see them. And those then presumably are from other bull jumping ceremonies? Because they look like they're healed over. Right. So they love this. It's all, like getting a tattoo. In a way, they, you know... Scarification? Right, yeah. It's a scarification process. But also it has cultural significance. It has to do with right. self-sacrifice. There's another meaning behind it. Right. And I was able to talk to them about this. Like, hey, isn't this, you know... You're sacrificing yourself for the, the good of the tribe. And says, oh, definitely. They, they totally got that. Wow. And with the, the power of the blood and the, There's and the, the lashes. So now they're they're down the hill by the stream. Mm-hmm. And some of the bulls are down here. So then they're going to herd the bulls up the hill later. Mm-hmm. always up playing those horns. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a whole day. Oh, you said it's like a couple day event. It just goes. I, yeah. There's a limited amount of sticks. You see the stick in her hand? For the lashes to take. (laughs) Thank you, so nice. (laughs) So they uh, playfully wrestle for for the whips to get whipped on the back. (laughs) That's incredible. Of course, they, so there's a limited amount of, of uh, sticks that they pull and they prepare for this. They, they're certainly they're, they're in a forest, so there's right. unlimited sticks. Right, a bunch of whipping sticks, yeah. And they all want to get the flash. <laughs> and I think it's not just the, uh, the initiates, there's other guys too. If they like a boy, then they ask him for the, for the lash. But I think maybe some of them in a romantic way, how they like them, and other ones, I think, because they're cousins and stuff, like how much, you know, of a good nephew he is, or, or cousin or something. So some of them are asking, you know, for the lash for that reason as well. why they went down to the river at this point and what they're what they're doing there's just another like sort of like j- they're jamming down there's the many river. parts to the ritual i know they have to make some paint to put on the boy oh let me go right. up until he gets painted when this is over they chase the bulls up the hill as well so some of it's lost in translation but mm-hmm. 
And was Lalo trying to like explain to you everything that was going on at these different points? Your guy. Yeah, he's also working my other camera. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's an endurance thing sometimes too, like all that. You know, I got up really early in the morning and hiked a long, long ways. And on the way out, we're hiking in the dark. It's like pitch blackness to get out. And the motorcycle breaks down. Right, right. <laughs> I was going to ask you if that was when the motorcycle broke down. And this night we sleep under the stars with the tribal people. Oh my goodness. And that was a cool experience too, right? Yeah, yeah that was really amazing. Oh, there's the bulls. It's the secondary guy here. That's the other guy. Oh, that's the local. Okay. Bulls. Right. So you need someone that's right from that area to get permission. Oh, so they seem to be hurting the bulls. Yeah, I'm sure they do beadwork and they hand make all these things. They have those necklaces with the, like the handle on it, under the chin, like, and they have that, that means they're uh, married. I mean, it's not really a handle, it looks like a handle kind of. Oh, that's the hammer thing? Mm. Yeah, the hammer truck had that too. Okay. Oh, and there's some guys with guns. <laughs> Did they have guns, or those uh, visitors? Oh, they do. You know, they need their own security. There's not like police officers for them way, way out here. So they need to, you know, protect their cattle. Or, like, sure. And as like a rancher, they need the, the guns for the... Oh, now he's, uh, there's the initiate on the ground. And he's getting uh, psyched up to uh, run on the backs of the bulls. Uh-huh. So they're probably the telling him that... Up on the pole. Yeah. Okay. So they all got like their hands on the shoulders, like they're encouraging him. And when they're all cheering him on, mm-hmm. they're probably giving him a prep talk so that he can do it. And he's saying a prayer. And you said he's a very... Oh, I love the... Are those feathers in his hair? On his head? Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, you got bird feathers. Probably some... Uh... Yeah. Oh, so they've got the whips ready. The women? Yeah. I think there's already was some whipping going on. But we'll see it more close up. Because right, okay. they're going to whip each other with these sticks. And, uh, love, huh? Down there is going to do the jump the bowls. These young women got these sticks to uh, whip. I'm just going to leave some scars. I didn't realize until you took this trip how many um, tribes there are in Ethiopia. They're picking somebody, huh? Yeah, no, they're, they're choosing. No forcing the boys to get whipped. Yeah, they're choosing one, huh? The women are choosing the. He's smiling too. The, the girls all grab him. They all want him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he's like, it's nice to be liked, huh? He's <laughs> being for a day. So okay. look how, how, how there's a smile oh, on him. Like a... So they're handed, she handed him a whip. Do, do you see yeah, that? So me first. Me <laughs> first. Please whip me. <laughs> So they kick that boy, and then uh, they whip. They all chose the boy. He has to break the stick on them. So he's doing, he's whipping two sticks, the two guys. 
They have to break it on the woman. Right. They do the lash that goes around the back and snaps. So that's why there's a limited amount of uh, whips. How did you feel, you know, witnessing this and being in it? Did yeah, it feel awkward? It was, or? It was amazing. And I felt very uh, privileged to, yeah. get to witness this. In such a pure form, you know. So they choose the boy to whip their back. And you can see they all have scars on their back. And again, we do, people do scarification and tattoo and all kinds of things in this country, but it's generally not done as part of a ceremony like this, so. It's yeah, unusual for us, <laughs> for us to see, but oh, this is their tradition. It's just astonishing that they're, they're dancing and they're handing the, the whips Yeah, they to jump the up and down. They don't even flinch. Some of them like they... Amazing. Other times after they get lashed, they, uh, right after the lashing, they, uh, they jump and they wrap their arms around him and give him a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thanks for whipping me. It's incredible. Oh and she smiled, and laughing. She's smiling. Look at that. It's all fun. They're just laughing. And... I mean, some of the shots I know you can see the fresh uh, wounds these women are enjoying. Yeah, big open gashes. Wow. I believe they probably wow. they probably put mud wow. in the wound to heal it up, like as the as the bandage. You know, they wow. probably just stick some earth in there. Uh -huh. They're so strong. They are. They're incredibly strong. These women were incredibly tough. It's like they don't take no crap from anybody. Except the, kind of except whips. <laughs> right. Except whipping. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh. It, for me, I, I'm wincing just watching it, but... Oh, nope, nope, I'm next. Make it good. Oh, he's not. He is like, oh, 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 oh. Time to even flinch. Yeah, no, she didn't even flinch. I, I was flinching for her. Oh, no, come on, here, here's a whip, here's a whip, come on. I'm, I was next. Did yeah, they drag him over the You're coming with me? Yeah, they're pretty like <laughs> They just grab him and pull him around and tell him what to do. You know, I have to admit, I think this is one of those ceremonies where it's really good that I wasn't there because I would just be standing there like like I am right now. <laughs> and and that's not the appropriate response when you're watching somebody ceremony. Oh, so is he seated on the ground? The, the kids are going to jump the pools? Yes. That's right, they haven't applied the paint yet. Oh, okay. That's right. They get up and whip a few first. And then they, nope, and they just, I'm next. Uh, Come on, make it good. So he's hitting like it. <laughs> then she got like, I want the stick. <laughs> I want one. I want me, me, me. Because she has to, like, you have nice. to really push him to do it. I think by the end of the day, I think his, I think his arm was tired. Like he's just, he's just worn out from the. He's just got to get his arm a break. I'd be dancing. I would definitely. I, I wouldn't last for like more than half an hour. But I oh, definitely they're mixing dance the, them. they're mixing the paints on the rock. So they make the, the paint that they're going to apply to the the boy who's the initiate. Yeah. But they're holding his hand with like the clay or some kind of rock with some oh some of the river water on it. Maybe I said there's more like the river. So they wet that rock. So this is the painting that after the whipping they're gonna do the painting. After the painting, okay, they will go for the coffee ceremony. Yeah. After the coffee ceremony, they will do last ritual ceremony. Okay. Then, going to be in after the last ritual okay. after the coffee ceremony 
they will do like uh, blessing, you know, the boy. Okay. That was the end of the part, the end of the part of the ceremony. But they still keep dancing all the night, you know. Wow. Dancing, drinking. Those are fresh wounds. Oh. Yeah, I think some of them are from another time, but it's open gashes. Yeah, I'm sure they're proud of their heritage and having the having the marks. You know, I also love the African fabrics. If I if and when I make it to Africa, I think I'm going to bring home a lot of fabric. They're so they're so beautiful. The tribal prints. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing stuff to buy. Yeah, and the beadwork. It's so hard to carry it all. I know. So with those beads, they um, don't worry. You didn't have to bring them. They go all the way up over their face and their mouth. Oh, that's all beads. Yeah, that's all. I'm sure they do. It, it takes a long time to do all that beadwork. Wow. They're applying the paint to his face. Wow. And another tribe when they were um, dancing and jumping, the the neck beads they have to hold with their mouth while they're jumping. So it's the oh, the, the, that was the tribe where they jump up and down. That was in Kenya, right? right that, was yes. the, that was the Maasai. The Maasai in Kenya. They have to hold the beads. Right, see, that one, the beads are already all the way over his mouth. Oh, my it's almost like in Hawaii where they give the, the person who has his birthday or graduation so many lays, the flower lays, that they're oftentimes like, oh, right. they're up to there with lays on right. them. Ouch. And she kind of curtsies <laughs> after, yeah. Yep, this one's sharp. Oh, goodness. Ow. Oh. She's not in the flinch. She's not in the flinch. I love her hair. I love that yeah, braided awesome. mohawk. It's awesome. Now I never had a mohawk. Adam had a mohawk. Oh, she's got that uh, wrapper in her hair on the right. <laughs> the wrapper where? Oh, the recycling. Thing. Oh, oh, oh! I see. They recycle the wrappers and use them as bows. She's already been hit today. <laughs> Look, she ties her shirt up where she wants the scars. They kind of. Uh, I think that like they want them in certain places. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I need some on this other side, or I wanted to cross the other way. Did they ask? Did they offer you a whip? Did, did anyone ask you to whip them? It's just for the whipping women. Okay. I didn't see any men. I've seen other men with oh, like no, scarification. No, I mean for you to whip some. Because uh, no. it seems like it's a okay. What's going on now? That's where we were before. Oh, so we okay. came down to the river. We're going to go back up there. So the people lived there, but they made like that canopy. They're boiling the sorghum beer mm -hmm. in the pot. Mm -hmm. Over here's the boat pen. A little bit more to the left. And then we go all the way at dusk. We go all the way up to the top of the hill where he runs on the back of the bowls. Oh, the back of the bowls. It's at the top of the hill? It's yeah, they, they they corral all the bowls up there. It's the next part of the ceremony. We're going to have some uh, beer and coffee there. We're going to meet all the relatives and cousins. And it's like a big bar mitzvah. So instead so of the running... We're drinking, they have like a certain... They said like coffee and beer, but it's like not like any kind of beer you've ever tasted. Right. And the coffee is, is different as well. That's so like and that was coffee. something that was real surprised, surprising to me is coffee is from Ethiopia, right? It yeah, they have delicious coffee. Yeah. I was surprised too at how lush and green a lot of Ethiopia is. I, for some reason, I was just thinking rocky and arid. There's beautiful landscapes from the north. It's like 
Grand Canyon. So the girl stuff from there. It's, it's amazing. It's, 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 it's really surprising. And the Omo Valley is really green and lush. It's very green and lush. It's it's and not what I was expecting Ethiopia to look like at all. I'm lucky I missed the rainy season. I think it started. I think it rained hard right before I got there. And then Ooh, it's what's the, in that pot? It's the Is that ruin the, beer? the sorghum beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like a 50 gallon, oh, a 50 gallon uh, pot of beer. So there's always guys running down from that water. Oh, look at all those gashes. And the guys who look them in the back. They are really hardcore. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see, see what you're doing. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's, awesome. that's awesome. That's awesome. Creative recycling. Drinks. Really big turnout. Oh, yeah. Cool. Lots of food. Like oh, she wants some whips. She's like, him the whip. <laughs> No. Come on, get up. No, don't do it. She's going to force him to get up. <laughs> they got to drag him. Like, oh, his arms are getting tired. With me. I'm tired. It's like a scarification. I need to give her some uh, lashes. Hey, yeah, come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's go break. So sometimes it looks like he's getting them on the arm, but sometimes it's going around them and then whipping in the back, right? Right. I think they want the lash in the back. The Y in the back. <laughs> She's hitting him. Yeah, they do the rough with him. <laughs> the, rough with the hug it's is incredible. a really rough Oh, yeah, yeah, they're getting it across the arms. Oh, it goes across the arm. Yes, the thing that was. Some of them have like scars on their belly, and that's like uh, bloodletting, like when they're sick. They do these cuts on their bellies. Oh, she has it. Really? Right. Oh, God. goodness, so like goodness medieval, gracious, look at that. The medieval bloodletting. So they're still doing bloodletting. Yeah. And, and happy. <laughs> yeah, it's a party. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome because that's uh, culture. I, I wouldn't do that, but they're excited. They got new, uh, like they got new tattoos. Oh, I love when um, kids who aren't used to seeing cell phones, although they have cell phones, they don't. Didn't you see some? Yeah, they have money, ones? right? They mix the old with the new. Yeah. So they live in the world. They're not totally primitive, you know, not primitive in any way. They, they keep their traditions and their traditional clothing, and then, yeah, they'll have like a cell phone. And they'll have it like a necklace, so they don't need pockets. They'll like tie it around their, uh, keep it around their neck. So now, is it afternoon here? It's, it's just kind of still the party and you're drinking beer right. and you're waiting for the... Yeah, it's like two or three in the, the afternoon at this point. Yeah. Okay. He does it while the sun's going down. Oh. Now, something I noticed that's interesting, too, is there's not any eating. It's not, it's not like um, they, they put out a big spread. They're just enjoying the beer. Yeah. I was imagining like later at night. They, in America, we eat early. They, might be, they, they probably ate much later. But I was wondering if they had to fast or something, but yeah. I don't think so. Or is it only the sorghum beer? They were drinking a lot of the beer. And can I ask you, what kind of food, what was the food like in Ethiopia? I think you said you enjoyed... Lots of meat. Lots yeah. of meat, really. <laughs> you eat raw meat, too. Yeah, the more meat you eat, the stronger you are. And what's the... You mentioned some dish. 
Tibbs and Teff. Tibbs and Teff. Oh, right, about. right. It looks like a handle, but it's not a handle. Yeah. It looks like So it. if you're married, that means she's married. Oh. The married oh. woman have that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're watching this with me as a woman, and you're kind of chuckling and stuff. I was like, <laughs> if I was narrating this on myself, I wouldn't want to be laughing, like when seeing women get beat, like I, I wouldn't want to laugh and uh, you know, show that I'm new to you. But with you taking it like hard to be and chuckling, it's like a different thing. But if I was, if I was sitting as a male on my own, like, laughing at them, take, getting whipped. You're right, like, that, uh, that would come across kind of weird, yeah, wouldn't it? Right, I'd be trying not to smile or to, to laugh like you'd be like really serious. But they're doing it, they're really lighthearted. about your travels that I've really learned is you, you're filming the good and the bad and the things that just aren't, aren't um, part of our culture mm -hmm. that like you're right like that a lot of <laughs> normally people would be horrified by that but that's their culture and to them that's getting this this um, scarification that shows their devotion to the tribe so it's a good thing I heard years ago some groups came in and tried to stop them from doing this really? and Okay, this this is illegal. It's too brutal. And he's well, like, I no, you're why. not. You're not taking our culture from us. But but look no. back. I understand why someone would say you can't do that or you shouldn't do that. Modern with it's a, a real mix. Nice. They keep their traditions and yet they... Oh, the, there's the jugs they film down in the river. So this guy's walking down there. And they add it to the pot. Boil it up. And I like that some of them have mohawks too. I thought mohawks were yeah, like, love, something like the just American native, but obviously other native tribes do as well. That's awesome. So part of the thing with the initial, I think it was, his head was shaped a little bit down there when he got painted as well.
So I notice a lot of people are standing, but there's also an, a group of people that are sitting in it's like the shade. Is that the older people that are just sort of sitting watching all of this? Yeah, it seemed like some of the older ones, like the grandparents, but then some of the younger ones. Too. I don't know. Also, oh, like the whole neighborhood came. This is a really big deal. People came from many, yeah, many miles. They, they hiked. See, yeah, I, mean, I, hiked like, I hiked 14 miles that day, like seven in and seven out, and the motorcycle all the time. But some of them don't have a, a bike or anything, so they walked through the whole way. We saw we saw one of them walking in. We should have followed her because obviously she was going to this. Like we went the wrong way. We were like lost in the we were lost in the hills. Oh, and there's the bulls. And one of the are they all bulls? And did you plan on seeing the ceremony? I mean, when you went down to Ethiopia, you didn't have any plans, which is often how Adam does it. He just goes to the country and starts exploring. Was this a total coincidence that you caught the ceremony? Yeah, Lalo, uh, my guide, was asking around. Mm -hmm. You know, they happen like at different times. So he was just he was asking around uh, quite a bit to see where there was one going on, and then we had to rush out. We found out like, oh, there's this one, and then we, we just rushed to get there. So there's more. Than the, I mean, it depends how many. It's like a bar mitzvah. So whenever the boy is going to become a man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> so loud. Dance all day. They're having so much Dance, fun. Dance, beer, whip, dance more. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Now the other thing is with the bulls, bulls are generally kind of mean. <laughs> not, yeah. Yeah, when we're going up the hill, like the, because they're chasing them up and one gets away, I was afraid of being gored by with the horns. Now there's a little selfie. They wanted to see themselves. Next they probably know they're going to be on YouTube. Oh, that's how you brush your teeth. There's the stick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, teeth are so look at what his teeth are. They use the stick, you, you mash it up, and it becomes like a bristle. Like a toothbrush. Yeah, so they're so always kind of like chewing on one of those, like brushing their teeth. Is there a special I did that plant? Of that they, yep. they cut? Oh, cool. So you can buy a big bundle of those toothbrushes for like a few cents at the market. Hazard. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I noticed the shirt says hazard. And it's like only one fit whip per person. You're supposed to break it on them and that's it. They taunt him too. And they don't know their language, but it's just like, I'm sure it's just like, come on, you whip, beat me. And he's just like, I'm tired. They tell him. Okay, so there. Is that a, is that a, a young? It's a younger one, yeah. I think even in the U.S., like you know, 
It's you gotta kind of force cattle to do what you need them to do. Right. But what really amazes me is, and I never saw that he's got it by the tongue right there. <laughs> right. And they do that with the bulls. They just they just grab them by the tongue. And I never, I never in my life thought like you could control the bull by the tongue. Okay, so that's the initiate. He's got to run on the back of the bulls. Uh, naked is the other part of it. You gotta strip down naked and run back and forth on the back of a herd of bulls without falling. Three times you gotta go around without falling in the pass. And apparently, like I asked if they had to practice a lot for that, mm -hmm. and they said, no, not at all. It's, <laughs> there's nothing to them, it's, it's easy. Like, so he has it's to just... jump up to the top of the bull, and that's like what? Like, yeah, that's means? right. Like, yeah, that's he a just pretty leaps. High jump. Oh, maybe they, maybe starts on the backs of the small ones. Goes <laughs> like, something like small, the bigger, the bigger. So, but oh, you said earlier that the bull jump, the the, the running of the bulls, is actually at the top of the hill. Right, the running of the bulls is spinning. So this is uh, bull jumping. Yeah, I know. I was being funny. All oh, right. <laughs> Shoe, uh, the push one away. <laughs> with getting away. He's foot. getting away. Right. Need that ball by the tongue. They just out. They just jumped, leapt down the hill ahead of it, and chased it back off. I, I am astonished at how athletic these people are. So they need all the bulls up there because he's going <laughs> to run on the backs. This is happening as the sun goes down. You're not going to get me, huh? Bulls like. <laughs> Oh, that was what I saw, that, that, that guy, he has a stool in one hand, but he does have some sort of, like, a, that, uh, some kind of weapon. Oh, uh, right. bored by a bull. He has, like, a sort of mini The bulls are very interesting, that big hawk thing. Oh, yeah. So they're trying to get all the bulls in one, straight one hand, or some sort of, like... Right, yeah, they help them out. Of course, line of bulls. Except they like you, they'll help you. But well, they have to gather them all together. There he goes. Look at the horns on those. I mean, they're bulls. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Yeah. I would have. I would like, oh, come here. I was like, we can get gored. <laughs> right. But they're just like, like a little kid will just like smack one in the face. I believe they probably do. Oh, wow. I think this guy wanted my phone number. <laughs> Lala's like, don't give me your phone. Your phone or your phone number? Uh, he wanted the number. Yeah, I think he wanted the phone number. But yeah, maybe he was grabbing. <laughs> he was gra I was handing him my phone so he could type in his phone number. I think he wanted my phone number too. It's so interesting when, when people are looking at their image on the, the camera, you can tell they don't see that very often. Right, yeah, the, like the phone's a oh, better the phone, quality. Right. Yeah. And oh, that's like the shepherd stick. Yeah. In, in Kenya, they have those, every man gets that little quick club sort of stick. So there's more men here. Up until this point, we've been just seeing a lot of women. Have the men been around? Mm, people are coming all along. Oh, he's just dragging him by the by the horn. By the horn. <laughs> then. Uh, and then he just probably sticks his hand in his mouth. And <laughs> How did they the grab tongue. the tongue? 
they just like stick their hand in the mouth. And yeah, like, yeah. I didn't really say. I imagine like you probably got to open the jaw, but. <laughs> Yeah, oh, see, and he's holding it by, by the tongue. You got complete control if, if you got it by the tongue. Unbelievable. Well, if been... you told me that, I wouldn't have thought it was you know, that was even possible. When you've been cattle herders for millennia, I suppose you get very accustomed to it. <laughs> The next few seconds he's starts trying running. to make up. So he only, <laughs> he only has to make it across three times without falling. Oh, they're lining up now. So did, did they indicate to you that one, that one bull is sort of like trying to make a run for it, huh? Or <laughs> he doesn't had know enough. what to do. I think the, <laughs> he needs like 15 in a row. Oh, okay. I believe there's a number. There he goes. There he goes. And how did he just leap up in the air on the top of the... Wow. That's amazing. amazing. What what a physique too. Like that kid. Oh my god. Joy. Happiness. I suppose just <laughs> Look at me so in my outfit. Yeah, just <laughs> Whoa! There's number two. Good job. Yeah, how do you just step up? What <laughs> you, he just takes the first no, step on the back from the ground to the There's back. no vault or anything. He just jumps. Woo! So he's done his three, and now he's just showing off. <laughs> this guy's a superstar. That's all he had to do is like three without, and he does it like over and over and over and over and over. And if this guy's going to be the chief one day, he's a superstar. He's like a hero. And how do you, how do you keep your footing on the back of these animals? Yeah. I mean, I know they're being held by their tongues, but... It really is quite. Oh, he does. Oh, he's like there to catch him. I'm gonna go on this side. Oh, it's good. This time, it's just a light and black. Just unbelievable. So he's only done, but he's already done the number he needed to do. Yeah, right. He's just <laughs> like showing everybody how. <laughs> I love that. Look at this. It's amazing. Turn on a dime on top of a bowl. It, it is quite impressive. I know I would have been impressed. Oh, and he does it yet again. Wow. <laughs> he turns. <laughs> he turns. I guess it's easier to turn on the last one's back than it is to leap back up there again. Yeah, I gotta be. That's... Oh my gosh, and he does it yet again. Well, you know, I'm sure the atmosphere with everybody dancing and, and all the noise and encouragement. Wow. It was an incredible experience. It's just amazing. Once in a lifetime. I was so blessed to be there. It was just oh, incredible. I definitely go back to Ethiopia again. And I highly recommend Lalo Desi and Lalo Ethiopia tours. Well, I think I'm going to have to go. Yeah. You, you convinced me. Yeah, I love Ethiopia. Oh.